All right, welcome again to another video on my series of quick reviews on the Yamaha Tracer 15, 2015 that I have and that I'm selling to replace with the 2018 GT. So in this series, I'm reviewing a couple of accessories that I've installed and it's now been three years. So after three years, what do I feel about them? And that's what I'm trying to share. Today, I am talking about the engine guards uh, from failing. I have a video where I install it. So you might have seen it. Otherwise, I'll put a link here on the description. I think it's here. I don't know. Um, and I'll put a link on the description. But uh, let's look at the engine guards. Fortunately, I never had to test them in a crash. That's what they're there for. But still, there is something to be said about them. So what I wanted to say about these engine guards is, as you can probably see in this video, there's a, some spots of rust. And that, that's really, I, I don't understand. Because first of all, I hardly ever ride in the rain. Um, the, only, the only time I ride in the rain is if I'm riding and I'm away from home and it starts raining, then yes, I'll ride in the rain. But uh, if it's raining before I leave, and unless I'm leaving for a big trip, uh, I'm not going to ride. I don't commute on the bike, um, so it has seen very little rain. Also, when I wash the bike, not only I clean it with a rag, I have a pet dryer, which is like a, a hair dryer in, in extra large size, that I blow the whole bike with, with hot air, to, just to remove the water so there's no water accumulating anywhere. Um, so that's why I have a hard time understanding why there's some rust points on these guards. Uh, obviously they're made of steel, which includes iron and that rusts. That's, that's the basic reason why it rusted. But it, it also has a thick paint coating that it should not uh, allow for this. There is one spot with, with rust that I, I would concede it might have been a, a pebble or, or gravel that hit there and chipped the paint away. But some of the other spots that I'm showing on the, on the video, I, I really don't understand why it's rusting there. It's, it's just poor quality. Now, it's not fully rust or, or full of rust, but um, it is nonetheless a bit disappointing. It's on both sides equally, not, not exactly in the same spots, but you know, small spots. So I don't know if I would recommend them again or not. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to install them again on my new tracer or not because of this. The, the one thing that, that makes me wonder if I will install or not is because I still think these are the best um, guards for this bike. I mean, the way they are attached to the bike it's the safest way. There is a there is a, a a bunch of steel that will absorb the impact without hitting directly the frame or the engine. They're way low to protect the engine, not the fairings. I don't care about the fairings. All I care about is if I drop the bike or if I have a small spill, can I continue riding and get home or will I have to call somebody and just go home on a taxi? That's what I want to avoid. So. Uh, so these, to me, are still the best bars. I've been looking for new ones um, online for my new bike, but I, they just don't exist. It's all like scaffolding in a construction building. It's horrible, especially those GV bars and, and the ones that go all the way to the plastics on top. It's, it's horrible. So I really don't like those. So it's either these bars, again, or some of those engine covers that go snugly into the engine, like a plastic cover or something like that but I'm not sure. So I really don't know what to tell you if I recommend them or not. I mean, you can make the decision for yourself. It's just superficial as far as I can see. It's, uh, it's hardly noticeable, but it's nonetheless a little bit annoying. So um, that's, that's what I have to say about these bars. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't drop the bike. So I, fortunately, I didn't test their protection um, qualities. But uh, from the design and from the way they're built, I think really these are one of the best options for your bike uh, in terms of protecting, not damaging further, which is important because some of these crash bars, they'll just transfer the whole 
pressure of a crash to your frame and break the frame so you break the frame in order to save plastics it doesn't make any sense so these ones are well thought and um, well built it's just this so sorry for that little interruption I have a new camera and it just turned itself off it said on the on the screen that it's too hot so allow it to cool down now when I turned it on um, it said that the data was not properly written should do I want to recover or not I said yes so I don't know if it it actually recovered and I can use it what I was recording before or not so fingers crossed anyway I was saying that um, what was I saying I forgot um, it's probably easy for you because you're still watching this video but it's been like 30 minutes for me um, yeah, I don't know if I recommend these bars or not. I think I do. I'm just a bit disappointed about um, the the corrosion, the rust. I think uh, it's a pity. I don't know if others also um, uh, rust like this one, like for example GV or SW Motec or some of the other brands out there. I don't know if they rust as well or not. Uh, so I don't really know what to tell you besides um, make your own decision so I hope you enjoyed this video and sorry for the little interruption with the camera those things happen and um, hope uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one bye bye